Hey everybody, welcome back to Do You Make Money? Because I do. My name is Brands. Today we're going to be going over the Animal Farm Weekly Update. But before we get started, I have to let you know I'm not a financial advisor and I do not give any financial advice on this channel. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, tick the little bell icon to be notified when I drop more videos, and comment in the comment section to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. I would really appreciate it. So if you are not looking at your screen right now, I'm on medium.com. We'll leave a link in the description to this uh, article. This was published on November 14th by Forex Shark. It says the Animal Farm Weekly Update. A picture of a pig with a crown on its head. So again, if you want to read this article, I will leave a link in the description. It's about a six minute read. If you don't want to read it, there is a button up here you can click and a automated voice will like read the article for you which is really cool so on the page we have the introduction just talking about how the animal farm launched with great success in less than 12 hours the tvl went past 100 million dollars and it has this section on tokenomic upgrades section on a shift to long-term investors a section on improved game theory another section on utilizing native tokens to earn dog pound 101 auto dog pound optimization update and the last section says the cherry on top so just to summarize um, what this um, article is all about some of the key takeaways it basically is just saying that they had made some tweaks some fixes to the animal farm, the way the emission rates, the way it pays out, the BUSD, BNB dividends, the way um, again the emission rates for for dogs and pigs, because they were a little bit lagging. And uh, for instance, like this first section, the uh, tokenomic upgrades. They're just talking about how in the version one of the animal farm, people were selling their dogs and pigs because it was much more profitable than staking them so the article is basically reinforcing what forex shark had mentioned time and time again about the whole purpose of the animal farm is to stake your native assets not sell them and earn busd and bnb dividends from them so what they had to do was lower the emission rates on the the dogs and the pigs that you earn from the dogs that you have staked because people, if they were getting the same amount of dogs and pigs that they were getting from the version one of the animal farm, it would just incentivize them to sell dogs and pigs like they're trading stock instead of staking the dogs and pigs in order to earn those dividends. So Forex and the team, they corrected this in the current version. So now this is the reason why even in my previous videos, I said, you know, people that don't have a lot of money to put in the animal farm, you're not going to get much out of it at the moment because the emission rates have been, you know, greatly decreased in order to bump up the BUSD and BNB dividend rewards. Those have been greatly increased. So that that the reason why they did this is to incentivize people to stake the native assets, which is dogs and pigs in order to earn the BOSD and BNB dividend reward. So moving on from that, the article also mentions how they are shifting to a long-term outlook for the animal farm. And this is going to benefit long-term investors. They've, you know, changed the dynamics of the project from version one to the current version. So this was going to benefit long-term investors, the overall ecosystem and the entire community. You know, them implementing a loyalty tax vesting model makes it so that dogs and pigs are far more rare. And by doing this, this again incentivizes people to stake their dogs and pigs and rely on the BUSD and BNB dividend rewards. Um, rely on that as a, a paycheck 
basically. Again, the whole purpose of the Animal Farm and Forks has stated this over and over and over again. And I'm going to mention it over and over again, you know, when I make these videos, is that you are supposed to stake your the native assets, your dogs and your pigs, in order to get that BUSD and BNB dividend reward. And as your your staked asset grows, you know, as you buy more dogs and pigs, and as the price appreciates as well, your dividend rewards are going to increase over time. And it's going to be at the point where you're not going to want to sell your dogs and pigs because the money that you're receiving off your dogs and pigs being staked is far greater than anything the dogs and pigs are going to be worth. So they, they've, you know, they've done a lot of thinking on this. They've done a lot of tweaking of the original model, uh, the version one model. They've had a lot of time to go ahead and work out all the tokenomics. You can see in this next section, the, uh, the improved game theory. They, um, well, I'll just read it for you. The BNB and BUSD dividends earned from staking will be significantly more competitive and higher than the net APY they would receive by farming and dumping the native tokens. Stakers in the platform could potentially realize massive returns with this new design as the BNB and BUSD dividend payouts increase by a factor of 100x or more. So again, all of this is to incentivize you to keep your assets on the platform and earn those sweet dividends, just like the wealthy do. They don't sell their assets. They live off of their assets. They increase their assets and therefore increasing the amount of dividends or money that they get from the assets. It's a long-term play. If you're not in it for the long term, again, the animal farm is just not for you. It's not a get rich quick scheme. It's not get in and get out. It's not meant to be traded on like it's a stock or a regular crypto. It is a overall long term play and it is delayed gratification that we should be looking for when it comes to this platform. So moving on to the next area of the article, just going to talk about uh, the dog pound. And one of the biggest uh, things I took away from this was that the sales of dogs are not people selling. It's actually arbitrage. So I'll go ahead and read what I've highlighted. It says currently the biggest sales of dogs are arbitrage. It is easy to be confused by these as they appear to be a buy or sell of dogs, but are actually something different. The number of people selling dogs right now is extremely small. Any movement in the price has more to do with the changing value of BNB. Dogs are paired mostly with BNB uh, than dogs sales. So that was in parentheses. I know that sounded weird, but I'll read it again. Any movement in the price has more to do with the changing value of BNB than dog sales. So because I've seen a lot of, you know, not a lot, but I've seen people in Telegram asking about the price of dogs and why are all these sales happening? Why, why would people sell at a 90% uh, tax hit? And Forex has mentioned this before and other pe people have mentioned this before, but it clearly states in the article as well that it's not people selling their dogs. It's just arbitrage that's going on and uh, other things behind the scenes. So the sales aren't going to happen until probably I've seen people say and Forex say about when people get to about 50% in their um, in the auto compounding pool when they're able to take a only a like I say a 40% tax hit so that makes a lot of sense because by then, you know, the, the price of dogs could have uh, gone up significantly. And he's explained it before that it just it's just going to depend on the the investor, what they're willing to what kind of hit they're willing to take. So 
I'd give it about another couple of weeks, few weeks, maybe a month or so before we actually start seeing dogs, uh, you know, being traded and sold within the uh, platform. Because right now nobody wants to take the hit. It's just way too high. People buying are accidentally selling without realizing and then they get a hit with a 90% uh, that 90% tax rate. So right now everything is working as it should and the arbitraging that's going on and everything else, the accidental sales and everything is pretty insignificant. The price has remained steady. Right now I believe it's about $53. It fluctuates between like 53 and 55. The lowest I've seen is, you know, the low 50s, maybe like $51. But dogs are in a healthy spot right now, and pigs are doing great as well. So the, the farm is working as intended. So now we're going to come to uh, one of the more important aspects of the article. The So I'm, I'm going to read this entire thing for you if you're not looking at the screen. In its current state, 3% of the BNB being paid to users in the dog pound is used to create the dog BNB LPs. These LPs are farming pigs, but those pigs have been staying on the contract for an amount of time. Forex and team optimize things so these pigs do not waste time sitting on the contract, but are made available for people to claim. This will significantly increase the number of pigs people are earning on the dog's BNB. BNB LP and the auto compounding dog pound by up to 1000 X. This change does not create more pigs. It simply optimizes the way pigs are being made available so they can be claimed faster. It's a very important part that I highlighted. So they're not creating more pigs. They're just optimizing the way pigs are being made available to you. This is one of the few remaining tweaks to be made to the mechanics of the farm and a hard refresh of the Animal Farm website should be enough to get it working for you. They're also adding more decimal places uh, to the UI and I've seen this already on the website. So if you're not seeing it, do a hard refresh. But um, yeah, that about sums up the article. The last section says the cherry on top. Um, in addition to the bullish changes in game theory and tokenomics, approximately 70% of investors decided to claim even more single stake AFD tokens by trading their dogs BNB and dogs BUSD LPs from the crediting contract. So they're just, they're just talking about um, what happened before the uh, farm launched where everybody was getting their dogs credited. So yeah, that's the end of the article. I just wanted to take a few things from it and just put it out there in this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, overall, the message for this is, you know, before I even say anything about that, I also noticed that a lot of people are starting to treat the animal farm as their bank. I find that very interesting. Um, I know Driptopian and Drip Guide are doing this whole debanking thing, this whole debanking experiment with the animal farm. So be sure to check out their channels. Basically what they're doing is they're taking the money that's sitting in their regular banking, checking, savings account, moving it to the animal farm and using the animal farm as their, basically their savings, basically as their bank account in order to earn those dividends. So for instance, they're taking their, say they have like $5,000 just sitting in their bank account. They're taking that $5,000 off their bank, putting it into the animal farm BUSD pool and earning dividends on that because you know, if their $5,000 are just sitting in their bank, it's not really earning anything, probably not earning, it's earning zero unless they have, you know, a savings account that's giving them some kind of interest. And even then they're earning nothing. So why not move that money into the animal farm and actually earn some, you know, significant capital off of it. So that's the whole debanking thing that's going on. And people have seen it in the, uh, tweets that they are also using the animal farm as their own personal bank now if this uh takes hold yeah i think we might get a debit 
credit card for the animal farm because that would be sweet. But uh, what I was saying earlier when I was finishing up uh, the article was that um, the animal farm is uh, basically used as a way to stake your assets and earn good money on it. Right now, that's not really the case. We are earning money on it. We just have to be patient. We just have to let the farm progress and, uh, you know, just have to let it evolve, give it a little bit of time because things aren't fully working as they should be, but everything is working as intended. It's just that, you know, a few of the pieces of the puzzle are still missing. Like the marketing needs to kick in, people selling their dogs uh, needs to kick in because again, the taxes are too high. Uh, the Fiat on ramp, you know, that's not here yet. And the dogs roulette isn't here yet. And the pig pen game, still a name, isn't here yet. So there's a lot of things that are missing. The um, Stargate single asset staking isn't here yet. So these are things that are still in the works, things that are to come that will fill in the puzzle to create the bigger picture of the animal farm. Once all those things are fitted in and working, in my opinion, I believe the payouts from st you know staking your pigs in the pig pen is going to be well worth it. Right now, we just have to wait. And let's not forget there's going to be other things that are gonna come along for a drip that are also going to benefit the animal farm and vice versa. And if you heard that in the background, that was my watch going off. Oh, yeah. So that was my daughter probably asking if we could get Burger King. <laughs> so, you know what? I'm going to have to end this video so I could go uh, talk to her. Probably go get Burger King. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, tick the little bell icon to be notified when I drop more videos, and drop a comment in the comment section. I'd really appreciate it. Have a great day.